I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. NHF backpack program are selling masks for two weeks. They're $12 and they're super comfortable. Here's the gold one also, and all the proceeds go to End the Hunger Backpack Program. Make sure you get yours today. to Friday. So good to be back on the announcements. We want to give you guys a little bit shorter announcements this week to get through Start With Hello Call to Action Week. Thank you for all who participated this week. I've enjoyed seeing your pictures. Mark to hashtag Go Brahmins. If you haven't done that yet, hashtag some pictures from your week to hashtag Go Brahmins. Make sure your post is public so we can snag those for our Saturday post. Big, big things happening tonight. It's our first home game. Probably going to be a little wet as if we're supposed to get some rain coming through here. Remember that tickets are limited. We only have 600 available tickets for um, the home side. Varsity cheerleaders and football players, listen up. Your parents must have that player card with them tonight to access your four reserved tickets per player and cheerleader at the home gatehouse. If those tickets are not picked up by 7.15, they will be sold to the general public. They will no longer be reserved, so make sure that your family gets there early. Tonight is also senior night for football and cheer. The 15 athletes that are participating in tonight's senior night at about three minutes to go um, before the halftime, your family needs to come down um, to the entrance to the track that's near the entrance to the stadium. Um, and we'll be checking a list, lining them up on cones so that we can do our senior night festivities at home time. All right, um, there's a few rules. Everybody must have a mask while on the campus. So if you're coming to the game tonight, make sure that you bring that mask. We will be doing temperature checks at the gate, just like we do every morning. Um, we're asking that everybody stay socially distanced in the stands. No one can stand in the rocks, on the grass, on the sidewalk, at the fence. Everyone must be up in the stands for the game so that we can maintain social distancing in a safe environment for our players who do not have a mask, for our cheerleaders who are on the track. So everybody's up in the stands. Um, once it's time to go to the concession stand, the concession stand is going to be open tonight. It will be grab and go, so all prepackaged items um, so that that concession line can stay down and everybody's back up in the stands. Can't wait to see everybody tonight. I've been talking a long time. What do you guys have? <laughs> I have a shout out. I had a parent email yesterday with a shout out to Miss Box and Miss Suits talking about how they go the extra mile to advocate for students when necessary and also work to provide live interactive lessons and reviews for tests. Um, and even sent a picture that I wish I could have printed for you guys. That's what I'm looking at. Miss Box made a um, edible neuron yesterday in class. So thank you, Miss Box and Miss Suits. I know everybody is working so hard. So kids, hit us up with um, anything special your teachers are doing so we can recognize them. Yeah, she didn't even invite us down there. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, we did have the JV game on uh, Wednesday. Boys, we played a hard game. That was a very, a very good game. I enjoyed watching it. Uh, everything went well. Um, the mask concessions and so forth went well. I know Ms. Myers already mentioned that, but those one thing that did happen at halftime, I believe, was some of the kids had met down on the rocks to join with some of the cheerleaders, I believe, in the third quarter. And that's something we're going to have to avoid for the remainder of the season, at least until COVID lifts. So uh, please just be aware of that, girls that are cheerleaders and anybody who is visiting with them. Uh, that's something we're not going to be allowed to do. Um, I know the big talks about football right now, but there is a soccer meeting uh, uh, for the gentlemen. Soccer meeting on Wednesday of next week. Um, if you have any questions about that, see Coach Omar. He's roaming around here. Uh, also, I believe the girls will also meet next week. I have a date of Thursday, uh, but stay tuned for that. I'm not 100% sure about the details on that, but stay tuned. We'll keep that in mind. So, um, soccer meeting next week. If you have any details, go see Mr. Omar. We have had a great start with Hello Week here at the freshman campus that'll end with a banner signing in the cafeteria today during lunches. So. Um, if you're seeing this after lunch, hopefully you had a chance to check that out. And, and if not, um, second lunch, please go ahead and, and um, stop by and, and sign that. And we will have a sweet and spicy PBIS reward today in the courtyard during lunches. So I'll let Miss Smith talk about the price structure for that with your Broadway bucks. Um, it's been a great week. Looking forward to next week. Speaking of, we have some testing going on next week. It is the fall retake sessions for FSA. Um, normally this will be for students who did not pass, but none of you had the chance last year to take your EOCs for geometry or algebra. And so our students who were in those courses last year will have the opportunity next week to um, our option one and the following week option two students to take those tests. So teachers and students, you'll be notified on Monday of where you will be testing on Tuesday and where you will need to report first thing in the morning to get those those things taken care of. Hopefully we're gonna have some students take take that off their graduation requirement list next week. Ms. Smith? All right, before I talk about um, PBIS pricing today, I want to give a huge shout out to Ms. Adams for um, orchestrating our Start With Hello Week. Um, we had great participation. We appreciate your effort. Um, and the student council reps, thank you, thank you, thank you. You all did a wonderful job. All right, uh, spicy and fierce and sweet and spicy, whatever the name of the day is, okay? Um, you will have an opportunity to purchase sweet tea and lemonade for five Brahmin bucks. You can also get regular size assorted chocolates for five Brahmin bucks. You can also get mini Taki bags and assorted hot chips for three Brahmin bucks. So lots of opportunities to have some sweet and spicy stuff today. Um, we hope to see you um, redeeming those rewards. You guys have done a phenomenal job. Make sure you check out the cafeteria and sign the banner and just be nice to each other. And we appreciate you. Back to you, Mrs. Myers. All right, tomorrow we have another SAT testing day. If you have signed up to take the SAT tomorrow here on campus, you're gonna park over next to building five behind the lecture hall that's closer to where drama and the band rooms are. Um, you need to be here no later than 745. Bring a pencil, you need a graphing calculator. If you wanna check one out, you can go by the media center today and check one out. We have about 10 that are available for you to check out. Um, you need a printed testing ticket and a student ID. That could be a driver's license or oh, look how important these things are this year. Um, so make sure that you come prepared. Don't be late um, that we want to get that test going. Congratulations to the students. Um, they, we just got our first round of scores back from the August test date, August 28th. So if you haven't logged on to your College Board account, get on there and look at your scores, some really high scores came in for seniors. So I hope to see some juniors taking advantage of these Saturday SATs because you need those concordance scores. So um, also want to end the Friday week with a huge shout out to our and swimming team. Um, I got an email this week, one of the days that I was out, um, our swim team went up against Somerset College Prep Academy 
and um, they, one of the parents had reached out to um, an Okeechobee parent and said that they were sitting um, behind the coaches and said that they heard the coaches of the other team talking about, wow, Okeechobee is so nice. Why is Okeechobee being so nice and hospitable to us? We love being here. This has been a great experience. And the parent just said it was so refreshing to hear that from a visiting team who had, had no prior experience with Okeechobee. So congratulations to you guys. That is certainly the Brahmin way. We really appreciate how you conduct yourself, even in a competitive environment. Speaking of competitive environment, boys, we're looking forward to seeing you on that field. Last week, defense, boy, you guys really kicked in that second half. So we are excited to see what you bring tonight to our first home game and get to um, hear all of your Brahmin fans that will be here in person and also rooting you guys on, on the radio. All right, we're a little bit out of practice. So together we will move forward. Be great. Be Brahmins. All day. All day. All day.